my grandparents came to Toronto from England, primarily be, to look for work for my grandfather. And they lived in the west end of the city. And they first lived on Batavia Avenue, 23 Batavia Avenue. At that time, Jane Street was the end of the city. And they it was as far out as you could get. And they were there because it was the most affordable place to live in the city. Uh, my grandfather worked for uh, Otto Higo, who made the actions for Heinzmann pianos. There was a big Heinzmann piano factory in the junction, but he worked at 680 King Street West, which is at the corner of Bathurst and King. And he used to walk from basically Jane and St. Clair to uh, Bathurst and King in order to save the five cent streetcar. My grandparents did not have a lot of money. My grandmother was ill um, most of the time. She had a series of heart ailments. She was looked after by the doctor for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So they became great Maple Leafs fans. And at times they even had some of the Maple Leafs boarding with them. But the area that they lived in was, was quite poor. And during the depression, the uh, railway was very close to them and the fellows riding the rails used to often come to the back door looking for handouts of food or often they would try to exchange work in order to have some food and granny always gave them something regardless of the fact that she didn't have very much <clears throat> but one day a fellow came to the door and he and she just had nothing she just couldn't spare anything and she turned him down and a couple of days later she found a description in the paper and she could tell from the description that it was the same young man and he had jumped in front of a train and committed suicide and granny never turned anybody away again it yeah. affected her her whole life mm -hmm. and my my mom and my uncle grew up in that area my mother attended george Syme school i suspect uncle sid did too um, when my mother went through school, when both of them went through school, there wasn't any money for university. And Uncle Sid started to work for Kilgore's and mom got a job with a Gerd's Ginger Ale, which was housed in the same building as Don Lenn's Dairy in the east end of what we considered the east end at that time of the city. Um, the person who owned Don Lenn's Dairy, John McMeekin, was a very affable kind of person who got to know my mom quite well and decided that she should be invited to the Donlands Christmas party. And my mother said, well, she, she would love to go, but she didn't have any way of getting there. So my, my uh, uncle, Mr. Mack, decided to send one of his drivers to pick my mother up and made sure she got to the party. And the person that he sent was one of the milk truck drivers who was my dad, became my dad. And as they say, the rest is history.